Really a nightmare situation for a Pewaukee bride to be. Just weeks before her wedding, a softball accident crushes part of her face. A rapidly improving technology focused on 3D printing means this newlywed is looking more like herself again. CBS 58's Jacob Kittlestad explains in tonight's special report. Every page in here is full of pictures. The photo <laughs> albums from Carly Kleinschmidt's wedding back in June. She says it was the perfect day but she also calls it as she sees it. No, as I look at these photos, I mean, I can tell here that my face was broken here. There was an indent almost in my face. Looking at her now, though, you never know that she'd been slammed by a tip softball just a few short months ago. What happened, it had broken here, here, and here. So it took my cheekbone, pushed it in, and out. You know, it was bad. Darkness under the eye. I was like breaking down because I was like, it's a month before my wedding and I can't, and I have a broken face. You can see that it essentially comes straight down. Carly eventually met Dr. Carolyn Brooks. Uh, so there's a loss of definition of the cheekbone and of the cheek prominence. Which Dr. Is Brooks is an study. oral and maxillofacial surgeon working for Freighter and Medical College of Wisconsin. She suggested a newer technique. 3D printing a new cheekbone. So we were able to obtain a mirror image of the part of her face that was affected, and then we were able to 3D print a custom implant that keyed into the abnormal underlying bone and allowed us to achieve precise symmetry with the unaffected side. She went in under my upper lip, so all the stitches are inside. So when you look at her from above, you can see that we've really recreated the normal contour that we see on the uninjured side. And if you can believe it, <laughs> it'll be a story we look back and laugh on. The surgery happened October 14th, just two weeks ago. There's barely any swelling, and the only evidence left over from the injury? You can tell here that it's sunken. Is what appears in the wedding photos. Obviously my face will never be what it looked like before the accident, but it definitely looks 10 times better than it did. In Pewaukee, Jacob Kittlestad, CBS 58 News.